What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're building a Strat Towers for 1954 Mercury. And you may ask yourself, why the hell does 1954 Mercury need Strat Towers? That's because in the last video we built a new front frame rails that can accept a 2014 Mustang GT subframe. So in today's video, we gotta build a Strat Towers. I also made the jig, so that's gonna tell me where the Strat's gonna be located and how I accomplished that is by cutting this off a junkyard, I went and basically got the whole front end, braced it up and did a lot of measurements to make sure my shut towers are where they need to be. So right now we are going to go is bolt a jig to the bottom of this and that's going to tell us where the shut tower is going to be located. Uh, I built this in one of my videos, you can check that out and I think I got one of the videos where I chopped this off. So if you want to see that, make sure you check out in the link down below. I got the jig bolted and it's pretty much where it's supposed to be. It's pretty solid. I measured it from this side to this side, did a cross measurement. It's level, it's level like this. So next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the spot welds from this piece so that way I can position a shut towers in here so that way I can see how much space I'm actually gonna have for a brake booster and the battery is supposed to be here but I can relocate the battery and everything else. And also that's gonna give me kind of like a template where I'm gonna build off my metal coming up here so that way I can see how much space the wheel is gonna take and how much space does the wheel need. So let's get this thing apart because I'm done with it and we're gonna put it in here and see how it actually looks. Well, this is looking better than I thought. I might use this, I might build my own, but right now it's just a mock-up purpose, so I can see how it's gonna be. Obviously, this piece is not gonna be here. We're gonna have a roll cage coming out through here and tying into the strut tower, coming back this way. It's gonna be looking good. So now I'm just gonna figure this out, do the same thing to the other side, and we'll see where we stand. Well, the OEM definitely is not going to work, so we're definitely going to have to build our own stuff. So, let me get my cat out. Alright, let me log in. Alright, now that that is logged in, you should consider liking the video and subscribing. And uh, let's figure this out with my little laptop. And let's print. It looks like I hear something printing in the background. So let's see what it is. Wouldn't be possible without Windows 69. And here it is. It's already printed out. Man, gotta love the design. All right, so all joking aside, here is the piece how I'm thinking about. So this whole, whole back plate is gonna fold over where the shocks are. This is actually the top of the shock. I just put it so it kind of holds the cardboard where it's supposed to be. And I also made this two side panels which is gonna weld right here, weld on this side all the way in. And I know it's gonna have this little lip, I could have come like to an edge, just weld a 90 degree, but I kinda wanna weld it like this so I can have definitely more meat welded on. And on the back, we are gonna have a, kinda like three fins going down, so there is no way for it to come back or go this way. And we have enough an angle to go that way and this way so it will stay where it's supposed to stay and then down the road the roll cage is going to come right out through here and it's going to tie into this and uh, so on that's going to be another video but for right now we're just going to cut the metal and do our fold and cut out the side pieces tack welded it make sure it's 100 percent accurate and then we're just going to duplicate on the left side or right side whichever way you look at it 
All right, let's get to cutting. All right, here we go. I cut out the driver's side, which is the left side, and I cut out the centerpiece for the right side, and I ran out of metal. I'm gonna have to get it in more metal. But here is how this piece is actually gonna be. I wish I had a big break that I could like keep that all in one piece and then just kind of like fold it down. It would have been the strongest, but it doesn't matter welding it, it'll still look good. So next thing I'm not gonna bore you with is I'm gonna be fitting it on the car and I'm gonna be grinding it because these pieces have to be grinded to make sure they fit the concave of this and uh, so on. So I might come back once I'm uh, fully ready to assemble on there and tack all this. So for me, it's like a few hours, for you it's like instant. Here we go, quick update. The center pieces have been bent uh, in a Mustang. It's uh, that it's actually vertical so there's no like weird uh, angles or anything but the shock shock strut tower it's like has a little bit of slant kind of inwards and backwards and here is the assembled piece i kind of grind everything down as you can see like that plus now i just have to grind all the corners where it's gonna be uh welded and same thing inside and here is from this side if you look at it, it's pretty solid. I know it's too beefy. It's 3 sixteenths is an overkill, but you know, it's my first time doing it and I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm not trying to say weight. If I wanted to say weight, I would have gone with a, a, a chrome molly tubing and did a whole front end out of that. But I kind of want to do this and it looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna have to grind everything. And then once it's grinded, I'll tack everything on here then I'll take it off so I can weld it really good and then I'll just have to put it back on the car and weld it as one piece. So that's how it's all gonna sit. It's like right there. All right, you'll see me on the next clip, all grinded and we'll just be tack welding it. All right, what I did is I finished the second one too. So now both of them are ready. Both of them ready to be grinded off and then tack welded. Then once they're tack welded, we'll make sure it fits back on the car. So let's grind it and we'll tack weld it then. There you go, she's all tag welded. I will take this off and weld it up. Same thing to the side. All right, pretty much everything is stacked. Now I should be able to remove it, weld it down. And then once I have it all welded, I'll put it up here and then I'll make my final welds all through here and also inside and the bottom right there.
Sounds good, huh? Very good. Sharp on this side. That's what I called stacking diamonds. All right, this one is fresh out of press. Got a little bit of thicker bead there. A little bit of smaller beads right there. And then this one, same thing. This one is cooling down, still kind of hot. But yeah. So next thing is to put it on the car and zap it to the rails. But that should be pretty much it. That was a lot of welding. Here, let's uh, look how it looks. This is how it's gonna line up on the car. We got it marked right here where it's supposed to be. Got to align this one. So next step is, look at that belt. I mean, just getting better and better. Next thing is, I'm gonna be drilling holes where the shocks are gonna be or shots are gonna be mounted. So, and then we are gonna permanently weld this to the frame itself. And then later on down the road, we are gonna have a roll cage that is gonna come up right through here from the cabin and it's gonna tie into this and it's gonna come down this way so it's gonna be braced up pretty well definitely gonna put a roll cage in this bad boy because right now you know pretty much this is what you get all right so let's get to welding and uh, permanently mounting this thing so we can put a front suspension on all right added more brackets added this piece right here so that there's no bending same thing on this side so next thing is tack weld it permanently to the frame and then we are going to weld it once and for all all right the strut towers have been uh tacked on. Uh, I'm gonna leave this video at this point because there's no point of me showing you how to weld these because you already seen me weld many other things. But stay tuned in the next video. We're gonna be putting in the front suspension and doing the rear axle as well and many other things. So hit like, subscribe and see you guys in the next one.